Hello everyone. Now it's been a while, but I have tested out this lens if you weren't paying attention to the intro. It's a Petzval lens. Alright, so I tested out this lens. This uh, Lomography lens. Which, cool thing about, are these. This is what really sold me. What this does, if you didn't watch my last video, is it changes the bokeh in your camera to whatever shape it is. And one thing I thought would be really cool to do was to do hearts for weddings. Um, so you can kind of see some of the bokeh artifacts in the beginning. Uh, it was Christmas time, and uh, other than that, you can also see what else it does outside of that, because obviously there's more to it than just that. This is based off of a, what was it, 1839 lens? Other than that, I've been doing lots of electrical work, as you can see. Um, one of the things I did, which uh, you might have not heard anything about, but uh, I installed this circuit breaker monitor. It's kind of like that, and um, it tracks each device uh, every couple weeks. It it figures out another device. At least it sort of does. It it, it, it gives a guess, and then you kind of have to figure out if that guess is right or not. Which that part's a little bit of an issue. I feel like about half of the guesses I've been able to completely figure out the rest of the way because they don't give you the full blueprint they just give you part of it and then kind of I guess feel like I feel like they expect you to figure out the rest so so that's been a, a thing but uh, I installed these new lights um, finally got done with the wedding video not mine but the clients they really loved it um, one of their family members I believe I'll be shooting their wedding April but I got a, a, a wide monitor, which is really nice. Um, can't see it over here, but my big TV that I usually use is right here. I got it hanging up in the wall, and it's mimicking this one. So mainly the point of that big TV now is to uh, really just to watch Netflix or HBO Max or anything with my wife. Um, but in theory, I could mimic, let's say, uh, the preview screen to when I'm editing. I'm about to get this 3D printer back up and running, and just I've been having a bit of an issue trying to get this Mosaic set up with that, and that became its own issue. So now, after trying their canvas up and finding out that the Raspberry Pi doesn't really work with this anymore, that was a whole issue. Uh, I got a Raspberry Pi, a really new one, that should work with this. But, I would have had it by now, but the package just got stolen. So they're sending me a replacement. That should come uh, in the mail pretty much New Year's Day. If it wasn't the hole, I would be doing lots of stuff in the studio. I was actually doing a lot of home improvement stuff until I got myself in the hole. Um, the only thing new other than the garage door opener, which I, again I don't know if I told you guys or not, um, I actually did get the toilet replaced. I tried several, several ways of plugging the leak of the old toilet in the studio. And I pretty much just said F it and uh, did a whole new toilet. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, before January is over, I will be able to show you the wedding video to my wedding. Till then, see you on the flip side.